Not everyone is a five-star recruit. Not everyone will have the great perseverance story of grinding through JUCO en route to the NFL. Some of us have to deal with the hands we are dealt. Those that have to come to the harsh realization that they aren't elite, that they didn't quite have what it takes to reach that certain level. What James lacked in physical traits and ability, he certainly made up for with his heart. James always walked around with a chip on his shoulder. Some would say that he may have had a slight case of little man syndrome, standing at only five foot eight, 165 pounds, he would often go unnoticed. So what did he do to ensure he would be noticed? Start fights, act out. He would do anything that would require somebody to pay attention to him. Although Jones was special on the football field due to a small state conference and an even smaller frame. No big college program would take him seriously. You see, scouts would often tell James that he wasn't cut out for the work and that he wasn't good enough to play for the Alabamas, the Ohio States, the Miamis of the world. But there's always two things he has always wanted to do. And that is one, serve his country, and two, play division one college football. Coming into his last few high school football games, James is torn between Army, Navy, and the Air Force. You see, James' father, Sergeant Major in the US Army, two tours in Afghanistan, his uncle, Master Gunnery Sergeant in the US Marine Corps, and his grandfather, one of the most decorated airmen the Air Force has ever seen. Three vets, three opinions, two people to let down, one decision. This decision not only affects the next four years of his life, but the six after. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we got a new series, as you guys can tell by the intro. This is a brand new RTG, and instead of doing it on NCAA 14, where we've done plenty of them, we're moving back a few games to NCAA Football 12. Then, after this, we will be taking them into Madden 12 if his career shapes out in that uh, in that direction. Now, if this is your first time here on the channel, you're in the NCAA sports content. This is the place for you to be. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, leave a like on the video, and you'll see that we do things like this all the time. We can run it up together. Plenty more where this came from. Ask around. We get it in around here. Now, as you guys heard in the intro, James is a small stature QB. He is a lefty, 5'8", 165. You know what I mean? Small feet, small legs, small arms. He is from Deer Park, Texas. This is what his uh, his equipment is looking like right now. Nothing too crazy. Um, only thing I'm a little upset about it uh, that you can't do on this that you could do on NCAA 14 is you can make some of these things team color. But other than that, everything is pretty much exactly the same. Now, James is just a two star recruit at this current state of his career. We have three possible rounds left here in the state playoffs. We're in the second round, three wins, and we're state champions. Now, right now, he has already received uh, a scholarship offers from Army, Tulane, North Texas, and Louisiana Tech. Uh, hopefully in these next few games, if we could win, he could secure those offers from Air Force or Navy. But even if he does not secure those offers there, he still is open to walking on at Navy or Air Force. Of course, once, you know, depending on how the series goes, we will leave a poll up on the community tab and you guys will help me decide which school James goes to. Now, of course, per usual, we are on Heisman difficulty. Injuries and fatigue are on. Game threshold is down to 25. Game rules in uh, custom AI sliders as of right now are on, you know, the base Heisman sliders just because it's been a long time since I played this game. Not don't really remember how it plays as much. You, so, you know, I got I to gotta tweak things as we go along here and there just to see what's going to fit best for the series and, and our overall plan moving forward with this game. So here in the second round, we're coming off a first round victory over Woodway. We beat them 29 to nothing. We're going to be taking on first Colony, who is seven and two here in the second round. We've had an undefeated season. James is playing well. He's just trying to finish the job, getting his team to the promised land. Can we get the job done? Let's go check it out on the field. All right, boys, as you can see, we are in hostile territory here on the road in the playoffs. 
Uh, we didn't get the rock first. First colony did get stopped by our defense. Now we're going to try to put some points on the board here. We are an option quarterback. Boom, we keep it there with James out of the pocket a little bit, and we pick up the first down, baby. Good first run here in this ball game. Now things are going to be – this is going to be my first time ever running a true option quarterback in a RTG, so let's see how this goes. Boom. Oh, pitch the ball. Oh, I'm so used to playing NCAA 14. Pitch the pitch button is is L is left trigger instead of left button. All right, so, you know, just, little, just the small things that I've got to get used to playing a different NCAA. The blitz is coming in strong. At least they're showing it. Here we go. The safety does come in there. Fletcher, of course, being an option quarterback, has wheels. He gets the first down, and he's out of bounds, baby. Let's go. So while we're here in college, we're going to enjoy the freedom that we have as a senior quarterback who's been running the ship for a few years now. We can change plays when we, when we see fit at the line of scrimmage. Boom. James Fletcher has an open tight end who's just shy of the end zone. Down inside the two, maybe even the one, looking to punch it in, man. James, James is having a good first drive here. Oh, so we're not inside the two. We're actually... Uh, at the two and a half, three. Let's see how, see what we can do here. Boom. Oh, beautiful read by James, but he's unable to get in. Good tackle there by number 37, King. Or oh, I think they say King. I might say Mathis. It's going to be tough scoring here down here, running this option play, man, but we're going to figure it out. Boom. Fletcher is in the end zone. Just like that, baby. We strike first. Let's get it. Hopefully the defense can continue to play as well as they're playing, and we can put more points on the board, man. All right, boys, so our defense does get us st another stop. 7-0 lead here. Still running the show. Hopefully five-minute quarters is enough. I mean, it was enough when we ran it with O'Rich, so I feel like it should be good with James. Boom. Get the pitch to him, and it's a horrible pitch. It's going to be a scoop and score, and James helps the other team, helps First Colony get on the board. Got a little bit of rattle there. Tried to pitch it too quick. Number eight was there to knock it down. Unfortunate. Now, remember, guys, James isn't. You know, a five-star quarterback. He's only a two-star. He's going to make mistakes, mo headed things that, you know what I'm saying, most quarterbacks we seem like want to make. Boom. Here we go. Make them commit. There you go. That's how you run that triple. Wait to, wait to, you know what I mean, get back to your job. All right, now we're going to go to a little play action here. You know what I mean? We've been killing, killing them with the run. James flushed out the pocket. He tries to take a shot, and he is obliterated by the D-line. Ooh, that's a, that's, a, that's a tough hit from, from a little guy. All right, boys, we got a third and four here. Ostrander and Franklin on the outside. Boom. That's a Dr. Ostrander. We got ourselves a first down. Let's go, Fletch. All right, first and 10. Let's try to take a shot. Let's try to take a shot deep here. See what Ostrander can do. One-on-one. -on -one. Make a play, Ostrander. And it's nearly intercepted. All right, boys. Third and 12. Can Jay Fletch come through here? We, got, we gave him a nickname already, Jay Fletch. Oh, it's a bad Stupid. throw. It's a bad force throw. Jay Fletch. You know what I mean, I guess it works as a punt. You know what I mean? Uh was it wasn't many of our routes going 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 past the first down marker, to be honest. So here in the second quarter, defense only gives up three. Um, two turnovers here by Jay Fletcher, man. Gotta get it together. For real. Boom. Way to spin up out of that. Had a chance to pitch it, but we're just gonna take the yards and take the first down. There we go. All right, we got a first and five here. Little play action. He has him beat. He has a step. The throw was out there. Nope. Beautiful. Ostrander is unable to bring it down. Not really too sure why he jumped. He definitely could have caught that. Just it, That was perfect. That ball, he could it was right under him. There's no need for him to leave his feet, honestly. All right, second and five here after the drop pass, man. We hand it off to the fullback, and we get the first down, baby. Good read. All right, here we go first and 10. Keeping these chains moving. This is one of my favorite plays in NCAA 14. Move. Boom. Get the first down, James. He tried to fight through, but he got gang tackled, and that's another first down. The chains continue to move. Let's get it, baby. All right, here we go. First and 10. Ostrander working on the outside. There's safety help there. He's got an open receiver. Boom. It's number one up the middle. I mean, over the, over the middle. Not really sure what his name is, so, you know, first down to our teammate. All right, all right, so I feel like we are in field goal range at least, at the very least. Get rid of it. I forgot how you throw it away on this game. Actually, no need. James has the wheels, and he gets out of bounds. I think it's RB, but I was trying to click R3. You know what I'm saying? So this is, I keep telling you, it's just the little things we got to get used to here. But James is having a good game. Seven people in the box. You know what I mean? Boom. Boom. Oh, broken tackle by Jay Fletch, and he's in the end zone once again. Touchdown number two on the day, and we have the lead here. We go up three. I didn't expect his little uh, – I told you in, in the intro, Jay Fletcher 
has the heart of a lion, dog. All right, boys, so defense got to stop. We get the rock back with a minute 39 left here in the second quarter. Ostrander, I believe you can win one-on-one -on -one with a streak, baby. Here we go. Let's see what you can do. Oh, we seen why late. Way to hold on to it. That was a tough catch. Jay Fletcher is back to 50% on his passing. He's uh, four for eight on the day. Still no touchdowns or anything through the air. You know what I mean? It happens. He keeps it here, running to our lineman, but we will fall four for three yards. All right, boys, we got a second and seven here. Minute 21 left. Man in motion. Boom. Oh, get up out of there. Pitch the ball. Pitch the ball. Pitch the ball. All right, we got a third and long here, third and 11. You know what I mean? Little, little, little miscommunication last play. Oh, and that's just a bad throw from an inaccurate quarterback. You know what I mean? These balls going to slip here and there with him, man. All right, so we went to the half. Uh, you know what I mean? Still up four. We do get the rock to start off the second half. You know what I mean? So we're definitely in a good situation right now. Boom. Get out of there, James. Oh, good. Make the blocks. Yes, sir. First down run. Keep them chains moving. The offense isn't super duper explosive, but you know what I mean? It keeps the chains moving. All right, we got a third and 11 here, man. Bust out the pocket a little bit. As a lefty, throwing back to his left. And that pass is caught by number one. I really do. I need, really need to learn this dude's name because he's been saving us pretty much all game long. All right, boys, here we go. Third and eight. We got Franklin in motion. We got Brooks. Brooks has been the lifesaver here today. He continues to be that. He's, oh, I thought he's off to the races. Brought down by the safety number 10, but we get another first down going to Brooks. Shout out to our guy, Brooks. The third down killer. The chain mover. Under three minutes left here in the third. Fletcher keeps it. Oh, yeah. Can he make people miss? He does. Get inside. Back to the outside. We're in the end zone, baby. Bang. Let's go. Jay Fletch with six more on the ground. He has all three touchdowns for this Deer Park squad here today. The Wildcats improve their lead. All right. So our defense actually gives up their first offensive touchdown of the game. Back up. Only being up four here. Little power option action. Boom. We got a seam. We got wheels. We beat the safety off to the races across the 30, 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jay Fletch. JF8, baby. Let's go. Killing these boys on the ground. You already know. You already seen it. We are on Heisman. Jay Fletch just continues to shred these guys on the ground. Doing it all, man. You love to see it, baby. That was probably the greatest run I've ever had in any NCAA in a very, very long time. 15 rushes, 181 yards, 12 yards to carry, four TDs. All right, we go. Seven. This is going to be the last play of the quarter. Boom. Ran that perfectly. Get it to him. Good pitch by Jay Fletch. Two's off to the races. Cross the 20 inside the red zone. That's going to take us to the fourth. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Get them fours up. Our boy JF8 is killing them out here. Brooks is killing them. There's nothing we can't do so far, man. We, turned, we had a couple early turnovers, but once we settled in and settled down, it became a different ball game. Right, let's try to go with a little play action action. See what we can get out of it. See if we can find Franklin in the end zone. Ah, we missed a couple open receivers. Fletcher showing off his superior athleticism. Touchdown number five. Ah, he's down at the goal line. Nearly 200 yards on the ground here today. All right, so we're going to hand the ball off to our boy Foster. Big number 22 out of the backfield who's met at the line. Might have even lost one. Brings up a second and goal. All right, second and goal, baby. This time it's a handoff to a different back, and he beasts his way into the into the infield, into the end zone, baby. And we're on the board, and we take a commanding 34-17 lead. Oh, wow, so our defense actually gets a turnover, it looks like. We're in favorable position. Let's get it. Boom. Don't hand it off to the up back. Fletcher getting skinny up the middle, down inside the five, and he's over 200 yards on the day. Let's go. This is how you welcome your, you know what I mean? You introduce yourself to, to, a, to an audience, to the world. Right, so Foster is in the backfield once again. Going to see if he can actually man up and get into the end zone here. Oh, yeah, that's a gaping hole, and he's in there, baby. Let's go. You see JFA is excited. Nobody expected us to win like this here on the road. All right, boys, so even though we threw the pick, we are coming back out here on the field with 22 seconds left in the victory formation. We are going to take the kneel of victory, and that's going to do it for us here in this ball game as we do move on to the semifinal round in the Texas State playoffs. All right, boys, so the clock is triple zeros. We get a big victory here, 41 to 25. James Fletcher played an amazing game. You see the band is playing the fight song as we leave here for the rest of the night. We lived, we lived to fight another day, man. 
James is really trying to uh, get his squad to a state championship. This will be the first state championship in school history, and they feel like they have the right man to do it. You see the play of the game is that long run we had with JF8, man. This kid is going to be special whether he's a five-star or not. All right, you see here, Fletcher is the player of the game. Four total touchdowns, 212 yards on the ground. Another 117 through the air. We did have the two picks. He also, unfortunately, had to make a tackle off of one of those two picks. You know what I mean? But we got it done. All right, boys. So with this win, James officially becomes a three-star. Now, one thing we're going to do here in this series... No matter what, he's not going to be above or two or three star with his overall once we create him on the team and then start to RTG. So you guys don't have to worry about that. That's the main reason why I didn't play, you know what I mean, a full high school season because it's too easy to become a five star. But final game stats completely. Six, six, six for 14, 117 yards, no passes, touchdowns, 212 yards on the ground, four rushing touchdowns. We do pick up 193 recruiting points, and that brings us to a grand total of 558 on the season. All right, boys, I forgot my I forgot that my uh, camera was off, but we do secure the scholarships from both Air Force and Navy. We also pick up another one from Louisiana Tech. I already I thought we had that one already, but, uh, you know, I think they just offered us last week. Now, I mean, they just expressed interest in us last week. Now they're officially offering. Um, and then we pick up looks from Texas, Oklahoma and LSU. Now, since we're from Texas, we're going to entertain Texas. But, you know, what I mean, based off the story, you guys already know we will not be able to go to one of these bigger schools. So um, that's going to do it for us here in the first episode of the brand new series. Hopefully you guys enjoy and hopefully you guys are excited for more. If you did and if you are, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, ArcadeGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. It's 2 a.m. I'm on the west side. Rolling with my gang. We've been grinding up this money at your door just like a necktie. Running up some change. We've been stacking up this thriller. 2 a.m. I'm on the west side.